Welcome to Viridian Hills, where I am going to be demonstrating my latest mod, and I think it's something that you guys have been waiting for for a long time. No longer are you going to be constrained by these horrible single entrance plots. You're now going to be able to add your own entrances wherever you want, however many you want, but because this is a pretty powerful mod, there are a bunch of things that you need to know about it, about how it behaves. It also does some really freaky and very cool things. Um, so stick with me. I'm going to take you through it. I'm going to show you what it does. I'm going to show you what effects it can have, what effect it has on other players. Uh, I'll take you through the whole deal. So stick with me and let's get going because I think, guys, uh, I've said this so many times, but man, I think you're going to love this. Okay, so here we are in Russo Flats, and um, actually this, this group of four plots in this corner is, is one of my favourites. I do a lot of my R&D in here, but this plot has always annoyed me because it's just got this single entrance over here. Um, and there's this great highway over here, and we've got no access to it. Well, not any more. So, uh, how does this thing work? Now, this road behaves like like basically any other road. I mean, it behaves like uh, like a, a high-density uh, streetcar avenue, in actual fact. So let's say we want to create a nice highway entrance up from here. Uh, then, literally, you just draw it up. Now, you don't have to have the, the stupid stubs and, and things that you have on, on the normal highway entrances. You can pull it up, like, right to the edge of the map uh, and... Boom, there it is. Now, if you go over extreme terrain, you will get some graphical issues. Okay, But you can always turn these into tunnels or bridges or whatever, and I'll show you that later. But first thing I want to do is show you that this thing actually works. So let's take a perfectly ordinary... There's nothing up my sleeve. Um, did, I, did I put enough in so that I can actually hook to it? Yes, I did. There we go. So, we'll just connect that through there, and then we'll pop in, I would, look, well, we'll just pop in some, some zoning, just, just so that we get some, some traffic coming in, and, uh, and hopefully what we'll see is, let's speed this up a little bit, hopefully what we'll see is um, some of this traffic starting to come in, and there we go, we've got traffic coming in from here. Okay, so let's um, let's see what else we can do with this thing. So let's take a look over here, and we'll look a bit uh, a bit more closely at these uh, these entrances. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in another couple of entrances uh, off this main highway. So let's pop one in. Let's pop one in there, and we'll pop another one in over uh, about over here, I think. There we go. Now what I'll do, I'll hook these up so that hopefully we can actually see some, some traffic using these. Let's use a curved tool. We'll just hook those up. Oh, come on. There we go. So, oh, look, and the traffic starts to use the new entrances. <laughs> How cool is that, guys? Come on, you got to love that. Now... Uh, you do have to be a little bit careful about using these because this type of uh, road that I've designed, and it's actually a hybrid, it, it has properties from the actual um, regional freeway. This is, this is a true regional freeway, but I've actually hybridized it with the streetcar avenue. So that it, it, it has properties of both, and one of the properties is that it does create traffic lights on the main highway so if you were to put like junction after junction you'd probably find that you'd have horrendous traffic problems so these should be used sparingly to connect to the main highways or the main freeways as they're, they're actually called like if you go behind the scenes they're actually called freeways okay so um, what else can I show you about this mod well 
I've taken great pains to ensure that this mod, as, uh, as much as is humanly possible, conforms to the modding policy. And one of the big issues is that uh, mods should not affect the multiplayer game. So you shouldn't be able to affect other people um, by, by using a mod. So, for example, now there's another plot over here. Let's just go up so you can see it. Right. So there's another plot here. Well, what happens if I start drawing roads over his plot or, or I put in loads of junctions along the freeway? That's going to mess up his game, right? So um, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's draw a road, like, into the middle of that plot. And, uh, and we'll add some... Whoops. We'll add some more freaky junctions and stuff there we go and then I'm gonna pop over to this plot Matisse Plains and see what it looks like from over there here we are and as you can see when I turn this around and zoom out as far as the other city is concerned these new roads don't extend any further than the city boundary. Okay? So there's no impact on other players. So, and that's a really, really important um, feature for this mod. It doesn't impact other players. Okay? So that, that's kind of our first thing. Okay, so we've moved over to Badlands and the Allo Plateau site. Because I want to show you the effect that this new road can have on highways. And this is something that you do need to be aware of. If I take one of our new regional freeways and draw a connection to this highway, you'll see that this highway will start to deform. And you, you'll see that you'll start to get humps. And the more that you do this, the more deformations you can create in the highway. And you can actually get some, some kind of really free. You can make this thing look like the Loch Ness monster if uh, if you do this enough. Now these deformations uh, are not a problem. I mean the traffic is still quite happy using these roads, but the only issue is that you cannot change this. Once these roads are deformed, they are permanently deformed. Um, so just be aware if you're going to use this mod and you're you're using it in in regions that where where you don't want this kind of thing to happen, you need to be very very careful. So try and make your connections in places where this kind of terrain deformation isn't going to happen. So try and avoid extreme terrain if you can, or try and make tunnels, bridges, or whatever to try and minimise this kind of uh, deformation of terrain. Now, uh, again, the, uh, the effect on other players, let's take a look at this same highway from this next door plot and see what it looks like. And here we are, and if, uh, if I zoom over here, you can see that the player in this city sees the highway exactly as he would normally see it. No deformation whatsoever. So again, no effect on the multiplayer game. Okay, so we're back in Viridian Hills and we've moved next door to Monet Plateau because I want to show you some of the incredibly freaky things that you could do with this mod. So let's bring up our road tool again. Let's switch to... Uh, our arced tool, select our regional freeway, and I'm going to throw a road. Well, that was a bit too extreme. Let's about there and loop this round, and you can create some pretty insane structures. Let's crank this up a little bit. Let's bring this back to about there. Let's crank this right up, and how about that for a bridge? And this extends. I'm going to. I'm going to zoom right, right out. This extends well beyond your map borders. You can create some seriously insane stuff. Now 
I mean, can you connect to it? Can you use it? Yes, absolutely you can. But it does obey the normal rules. So you can't, unfortunately, connect to it up here. But you can connect to it with normal roads, just as you would any other bridge. And, oh, man, doesn't that look awesome? I'm sure you guys are going to come up with some insane stuff with this. Uh, now, uh, one thing I should point out, you can't um, upgrade this into bridges. Uh, this is one of the properties of the, the regional freeway rather than the, the streetcar avenue. Now, you can change this into a high density avenue. You can change it into a medium density avenue. Okay, but you can't change it into the bridges, unfortunately. Now, will it futurize is a question that I was asked. And uh, let me demonstrate that. Let's pop a couple of parks down here. And bingo. It is now futurized. And actually, if I upgrade this, uh, you can probably see that a bit clearer. And there you go. Nice futurized. And you could futurize this. Well, you can't futurize it all the way around because, because you can't reach it because it's way out there. But uh, there you go. So in terms of freaky stuff, loads of freaky stuff. You want to see some more freaky stuff? Okay. How about freaky tunnels? Okay, so I've hopped over here to uh, Wessex Bend because this is a sea level map. So normally you cannot create tunnels on a map like this but with the regional freeway oh yes you can so let's take this down now I've got to say this behaves kind of strangely sometimes and you will have to play around with this to get this to make the kind of tunnels that you want but um, if you persevere you will be able to get some pretty freaky tunnels. This isn't doing anything right now, so let's let's try let's try an arc tour and let's see if that'll Oh here we go, here we go, and Oh, this is pretty nice. This is this is I think this is gonna demonstrate now so you can create your own rivers. You can create rivers, you can create lakes using this. The visual side of this, I, I mean, it, it kind of makes this into a new game. You can, like, really terraform with this thing. Now, uh, will cars go down here? Yes, absolutely, they will. Free car wash, anyone? Oh, yeah. And, uh, like, is this ploppable? Oh, yeah. So, um, you don't like your garbage dump? You want to hide it? Yeah, well, what the hell, bury it. Put it underwater. Nobody's going to mind. <laughs> you can do freaky things with this mod. Trust me. Uh, and, like, does everything still work? Oh, yeah, it still works. Let's pop a couple of burners on this. There we go. Look. Just got the stacks poking out above the water. Just what you want. Get a few frogmen down there to operate the plant. Everybody's happy. Seriously, guys, this is just a massive amount of fun. I can't wait to spend some more time and actually do some uh, some real terraforming with this and create some, like, rivers and lakes and stuff. I think it could be pretty darned awesome what you can do. Now, um, one other concern is, um, again, you don't want to be able to distort the leaderboards. That's another part of the modding policy. Now, how does this affect the leaderboards? Well, does it allow you to create uh, additional population? Well, the answer is no, because although you can draw these roads outside uh, of the city, you cannot plop or zone outside the city. So you can zone like right up to the edge, but, but you can't zone beyond. And that's the same with ploppables. Let's take a fire station. You can plop up to the edge, but you cannot plop outside. Okay? So will this get you any more population? No, absolutely not. 
you're still limited to the max on a on a on a completely flat plot uh, with uh, without excessive railway roads. Uh, it's 1.7 million per city. This mod does not change that. So uh, what about other stuff? So what about um, tourism? Uh, does it affect tourism leaderboards? Uh, no, it doesn't. If you've seen any of Uncivil Engineer's guides, then you'll know that, uh, I mean, he's getting insane amounts uh, in his tourist cities. And it, his limitation is not traffic. His limitation is not highway entrances. His limitation is literally how much space have you got to pack in casinos? Um, so is this going to make a difference to the, to the tourism leaderboards? No, it doesn't. What about uh, something like electronics? or any of the trade specializations. Once again, no, because the limitation on those is how much space you've put in to put factories and people and that kind of stuff. It's not a limitation of the highway entrances. So there you go. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to show you at this point. I, I'm sure that I will come back to you and show you other stuff that I've done with this. I'm sure I'll include some stuff in the <laughs> Let's Plays and whatever. But for now, I think that's what you need to know. Um, like, be careful with it. Use it sensibly. Don't put too many connections to your highways because of the uh, the traffic lights. Be careful of uh, deforming your, your highways. Other than that, enjoy it. Go wild. Do freaky stuff and send me some pictures. Peace out.